Do you want to start streaming with OBS, but you really don't know how to set it up? This is a basic tutorial about how to start streaming with OBS. Before I begin, I want to thank our sponsor, Owned.pro. Owned.pro has a free plan and a pro plan. With the free plan, you can get stream labels, copyright free music, you can get five overlays, five free alerts, a chatbot, and PayPal donations. And with the pro plan, you get access to so many overlay packs that you can install really, really easily on your OBS. And you know what the cool thing about this all is? You can get 50% off by using code tree. Link is down below in the description. So we open OBS. What you see here is a little bit different than what you see yourself probably. There we go. This is how OBS looks for you probably. And what we have here is an empty canvas. What you probably want to do is add your gameplay and overlays and maybe your camera in here. So the first thing I want to start with is adding our camera. Click on the plus and we go to video capture device. Then here we call it whatever your camera is called. So C920, I guess I'm using the Logitech C920 at the moment. We're gonna add that and we're gonna find it. And here it is, HD webcam. If you have the C920, there's this problem that it shows in this weird ratio. <laughs> what you need to do is set it on custom here and put a resolution of 1080p in here. And then it actually fills your screen. You can see me twice now. Hello, <laughs> that's me. Now we click on okay. Now we have the webcam. But the webcam is rather big because if we want some gameplay or something like that, we, we can't really see it. So what we can do is make it smaller. Click on the image, the webcam, hold control and drag it in. Now we can see we keep it in proportions. We can make it as small or big as we want. You can even zoom in like this. So it's bigger than the actual canvas, but we're going to make it small right now. So for example, like this, now it is as small as we want to have it. We don't have a border or anything yet. It doesn't really matter. You see that yourself are smaller than this border, you can always hold alt and then drag these things in. And now this border is smaller, even though you didn't crop yourself, just the edges. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna make it normal 1080p ratio. A second thing we want to do is add gameplay. There's a couple of ways to add gameplay. There's two I recommend, using gameplay capture and desktop capture. Usually using the gameplay capture is a better way of doing it, but sometimes games don't really wanna work with it and then you want to go for the desktop one. The desktop one is super easy to add. You just go here, click on the plus and add display capture. Right here, you can give it a name. I just leave it like this for the tutorial and click on okay. Now you see it automatically detects one of my monitors. I can switch the monitors here. I've got three at the moment, but this is the one I wanna use for the tutorial because this is the screen. This is my main screen, right? Now we're capturing this. As you see, our camera is underneath it. So if you drag it up, the camera is over it. So this is a way of capturing a game because if I display a game on this screen, it will be on the stream. This is a dirty way though, as if you get in pop-ups or something like that, the whole stream will see it. So there's a second way of doing things. But for that, we need to actually open the application. So let me just open Steam and open up a game. Okay, it's opening up Evil Genius 2 now. Now we're gonna tap out back to OBS. Plus, game capture, um, Evil Genius. Now we can set this first one on specific window. And then the window we want Evil Genius because that's the game we wanna play. And then we click on okay. Right now you don't see it up here. What you can do is go back in the game and then go back here and you'll see it up here. Again, if you edit it, it will be the top layer. So drag it underneath your camera or drag your camera over it to make sure that your camera is above it. Now we can see we can start playing this game where our camera is in and our game is in. We've got two more problems though. <laughs> As you see, it's picking up my mic already because I edited it. But we haven't edited that yet. We also don't have the music or sound from the game yet. So what we want to do is capture the sound of your PC. You click on the plus, audio output capture. We can call this whatever we want, headphones or something like that. And then we want to select the thing you are hearing the audio with. So for me, um, I'm hearing it with these headphones. However, they are in my Elgato XLR Wave, so we're gonna need to select that instead. Because it's the Wave, I'm actually using the Wavelink software, so I need to select the Wavelink uh, software. As you see, for me, this is both gonna like start making sound as in the Elgato Wave software, I don't haven't got my mic muted. So you see, if I start talking, it's also sending it to the stream. If I mute the stream, then it will only go through the mic input. I like to separate them. You don't have to do this with the software, but because uh, I can put effects and stuff like that on a microphone without putting it on the rest, I like to separate them. But if you just have the Wave software, just add only the Wave link 
stream in it. It will also pick up your microphone, so you don't have to worry about that. Some of them need audio output and some of them need audio input. It can be a little bit confusing as like audio output, let me show you, uh, would have different headphones. So if you would have your Elgato's in the headphone, you can also click this one. Or you have your headphones right into your PC, it's also audio output. So usually you use audio output, but with the Wavelink software you use audio input, okay? As you see here in the audio input capture, you can hear sound, but I'm not recording it so you guys don't hear it. But you can see that it comes in OBS here. I'm really awkwardly recording this with Streamlabs OBS because, you know, I need to record OBS. Normally I don't use Streamless OBS, but yeah, it's called Streamless Desktop now, by the way, which is really great that they changed the name. Thanks. Okay, so we've added that. We've added our mic by adding the same thing, input or output, it's input most likely. Generally speaking, for your mic, you use audio input capture and for your headphones and desktop sound, you use audio output capture, but it can be a little bit confusing because the Elgato Wave software changes things up a little bit. Okay, if you want to add alerts, you can do that by the browser source here. From alert services like Stream Elements, for example, you get a link that you can paste here in the browser source. So if you add a browser source, you get this link here that you can replace with the actual link you got from the website. You can do that with any alert service. So I'm looking at the owned right now, and here if I can download the plugin, we can actually add an overlay package really easily. Yes, install it in the folder, install the plugin, yeah, finish. Okay, now the plugin should be in our OBS and we can go here and you probably don't see it yet, so we need to restart OBS. Okay, right now you see that the game isn't working anymore. It's because we restarted OBS and it needs to connect back to the game, but it doesn't matter right now. Uh, what matters is that owned Pro is here. Now here we can log in with our Twitch and we can see that this, this window popped up in OBS. Like you see, it's not a browser, it's in OBS itself. And we can select which one we want here. So let's go for the easy one here. Click on install and it's over installing, downloading it. Boom. It's making a new scene collection. Okay. So what do you need to know from scene collections? Here at the top, you see scene collections and here we can switch in between. So if I go to tree stream, you will see that this is all the things I usually use for my stream, which means that if you want to change some things in your overlays, you can make different scene collections and things wouldn't be changing in your other scene collections. Okay, here you see that we have a starting soon and a live scene. See that it also switches immediately and a just chatting scene. So here, what we want to do is we want to add our face in here and our game maybe. So what we can do, again, what we learn is we can add our face by going to this and adding the scene on 20. We can put it under the overlays, probably. <laughs> yeah, see, because it's this this overlay is transparent. Again, the, the webcam is like not 1080p, so let's change that because I don't like the other resolution. Game capture, and we add our uh, specific window, and we add our evil genius. Okay, and now we can, same thing, control and make it smaller. Make sure to lock your things in place, because if you don't lock them, you accidentally able to switch them and move them which is really really annoying but now you see we're here our gameplay is there um, because we're not playing it because this is our intermission screen <laughs> and talking is more important than playing here and the live scene here as well this is just some gameplay or you can you can move these things around because there's a lot of this in here i would re recommend not keeping all of this so for example this is as a webcam border or this is a webcam border let's just do a simple one here so we're just gonna hide the other ones Ctrl Z. Okay, doesn't want to Ctrl Z. Okay, I think I pressed the program. I pressed Ctrl Z a couple times too much. I selected the folder instead of like the things, and then it didn't want to work. So I crashed. I crashed OBS. Crashing OBS in a tutorial. This is just the basics of OBS. If you don't want to learn more about OBS, I do have a playlist here all about OBS with a lot more difficult things and more things that you can add to your stream uh, because these are just the basics, and you want to add more than this. Believe me, you want to add a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so see you in that playlist. See you there.